I am in Perry, Georgia, at the Chihuahua Club of Atlanta's specialty, surrounded by friends from near and far. While we are all battling torrential downpours, <laughs> and searching for a dog toy that is actually squeezable. Did you get a oh, with the dick? I didn't. I got oh, Ella, can, can I trade? Can I have the dick? Yeah, you can, have, can the have the dick. dick. You can have the dick. I want Thank the comb. You. Thanks. Yeah. There is nothing quite like a breed specialty. I'm going to share with you what I love about specialties, as well as why they are so important for the breed. So be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss all of the dog show fun, this time Chihuahua style. I suppose I should start with explaining what a specialty is. There are three types of confirmation shows. All breed, which is a show that all AKC breeds are eligible to enter. Limited breed, which is a show that all AKC breeds under a specific group are eligible to enter. And specialties that are for one specific breed. Every breed in the AKC has a parent club. This club sets the standard for the breeds as well as holds dog shows and educational events that are breed specific. Basically, they decide what the breed should be and they promote it. Then there are local clubs that are a shoot off of the national club providing local representations of the breed throughout the country. If you're confused at all about that whole group thing, I have a whole video on how a dog show works. On the breed level, a specialty can be national, regional, or local. The parent club in my case is the Chihuahua Club of America. It holds its national specialty in October along with a regional specialty. And we also hold an additional regional specialty in December in Orlando, Florida at the AKC National Championships Cluster. A local specialty is when a local club holds their own specialty in their area. I have a local club in Florida called the Tampa Bay Chihuahua Club, but this time I'm attending the Atlanta Chihuahua Club specialty in Georgia. I don't know if I can list all of the reasons why I love specialties, but I'll give you a, a quick rundown. First of all, you get to spend the entire afternoon with people that love your breed, and that is amazing. Best bread bar. This is this is the prize special. for best this bread bar. This is amazing. That is amazing. I want to do that for every specialty we ever do. Get good pictures, close up. So you love it. it. I love it. it. Awesome. It was the best. Garen's. With uh, the perfect, the right kind of heating we pad. We got the heating pad, we've got the jelly. We've got uh, Oracle or Plus. Plus. We've got uh, three feeding tubes, yeah. the syringes. We got a two nice hand bulb towels, syringe. a big towels. Temperature. There's a uh, breeder's wheel. That's cool. I'm gonna the steal that. You don't know, mind if I uh, steal that, right? When you're with other people that are devoted and love your breed, you get to see examples from all over the country, or at least all over the region, and you get to celebrate your breed together. In confirmation, you're supposed to be showing off your best breeding stock. So a specialty provides you an opportunity to see what other breeding opportunities you might have. You may find a stellar male that you would love to be able to breed to your bitch. Or perhaps someone has a litter of up and coming show potential puppies and you can talk to the breeder and see them in person or at a minimum see their parents in the ring. You may also have the opportunity to have your first chance to lay eyes on a dog that has been taking the show circuit by storm so you too can celebrate the victories of the success in your breed. Another reason I love specialties is all of the stuff. First, you get to have a sweepstakes, which is for all the puppies and your veterans. It's a chance to share your latest litters with your fellow breed aficionados and also get those puppies some practice time in the ring. There are no points in sweepstakes, all accolades, but your wins are celebrated with those that love your breed. So what more could you ask for? Well, funny you should ask because guess what? There is more. You get really cool trophies and ribbons. It's the same thing as the actual specialty itself as well. Usually you get bigger ribbons and rosettes. Sometimes those rosettes are actually bigger than your dog. And there's always some type of trophy. Good morning, ladies. You have dogs in the show. Ah, yes, I do. Welcome Thank back. You. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Most local clubs give out a welcome bag that usually has pee pads and a toy and maybe a bottle of water and other odds and ends that you might find useful when traveling with dogs. The other thing local clubs often do is hold an auction to raise funds for their club. Volunteers usually gather breed specific items that are unique and cool that you get to bid on. I've had some amazing luck getting some really cool items over the years. Yeah, I'm an auctionaholic. I just can't resist them. They are my weakness. Okay, so yeah, fine. They are one of my weaknesses. Debbie? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Today's specialty was held up by judge changes, lengthier than desired judging assignments, and a torrential downpour. Seriously, the weather was absolutely horrible. Nasty, it is. It's really nasty. Can you see how nasty yeah, it's it is? Nasty, and it's moving. Nasty. It's moving. 
You find the dot, man. You find the dot. Because I can't find the dot. There's too much rain. Our little group of cheap peeps had a very large amount of downtime where I got asked to run errands for a friend. Okay, Hiram. Big time. You know, like run through the rain to go from one building to another to get a phone number. Rummage through our welcome bags and play with the toys like small children. Did you get a oh, with the dick? I didn't. I got oh, Helen, can, can I trade? Can I have the dick? Yeah, you can, have, can the have the dick. dick. You can have the dick. I want Thank the cone. You. Thanks. Yeah. Wait, my cone doesn't squeak. Does your dick squeak? <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Inquiring <laughs> minds, my dick squeak. All right, I'm sorry, I'm taking the dick back. <laughs> I'd rather have a squeaky dick than a cone that doesn't squeak. Eat tons of food at the club, set out for a nice little luncheon, and then go back for seconds and thirds, and then, you know, well, yeah, we ate all the food. And of course, catch up because some of us haven't seen each other in a very long time. Once things got rolling though, on to celebrating chihuahuas we went. There was an amazing array of examples of the breed displayed this afternoon. Seriously, so many awesome dogs. And when it came to best of breed, I held my breath because honestly, it was not going to be an easy choice. Some amazing dogs, especially in the smooth coats. How did my experience at the specialty go? Well, Echo got reserved to her sister Foxy, who not only got winner's bitch, but she also got best opposite sex. Foxy got her very first points, and it was a major. And what did I get? I got tons of awesome memories. Way too many giggles and laughs, a truckload of awesome trophies, and yes, I won items at the auction. Because yeah, I'm lucky like that. Until next time, see you at the next specialty.